Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Brevard, or evening, wow. Haha, <laughs> psych, just testing you, making sure you all are paying attention. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Vieira Regional Park. 10U action between the Sun Tree Vieira Hawks and the DeLand Bulldogs right here on the Brevard Sports Network. As you see the Hawks, it is Patriots night. Or, uh, National First Responders Weekend, as you see all the all the uh, the flags of every branch of the military, paying respects to our first responders, and we're in the national anthem. A little uh, but, but, button, button pressing going on, and so we got about two quarters of the way through the National Anthem, which then flowed into the Monday Night Football theme, which one could say the Monday Night Football is a staple of... Uh, is a staple of American tradition. Whether you're talking Thursday Night JV, Friday Night Lights, Saturday Night po or Saturday Pop Warner, Saturday Night College Football, Sunday... Co uh, NFL football when it's this time of year it is such a great day here we go Delan Bulldogs and Sun Tree Vieira live here on Facebook right here on the Brevard Sports Network if there's any parents from Deland that have friends and family that couldn't make the trip go ahead share the stream we will be here all day when I say all day, I mean I was here for the 6U game. What a great 6U game we had. Sun Trivier comes out on top 25 to 18. That was back and forth and went to the very final play of the game. So. And one second. All right, here we go. First and 10, and great job picking up about five yards on the play for Sun Trivier as they take over for the first possession of the first half. Second and five for the Hawks here in the 10U division. I'd like to thank our one of our great partners here, Best Private Investigations. I'll tell you a little bit more about them later on here in the broadcast. Quarterback in the gun. He's going to take it himself. Number four. Can 
Can I please have no no kids on the scaffolding, please? No kids on the scaffolding. Uh, number four, I don't have his name here on the roster. Coach Chase Goff. And gives it off to number nine, trying to get around the corner. And he'll get a gain of maybe one yard on the play. Blake Monarch. Of course, how, how, how could I forget that name? Blake Monarch on the carry for Suntree. Easton Goff is the quarterback. Chase Goff, the head coach. So fourth and about four for Suntree Vieira. Goff in the pistol with Monarch behind him. Goff is going to take it on his own. And he runs out of running room. That Deland defense comes in and makes the play. Sa safety came up for run support and uh, said, uh, nope, no first down for you. Turnover on downs with 7.30 left to go here in the first quarter. And number, oh, now I apologize to the DeLand fans again. DeLand only brought one roster to to the field, and it had to go to the PA guy. So I'm listening to him for names because I don't, number 47, the quarterback. And, uh, and, and because I cannot see the comments uh, due to our program here that allows us to use scoreboard, give patronage to our sponsors, I cannot see the comments So I'm, I'm listening to the PA guy for names because he has the only roster that DeLand brought. And that, that's a fumble. And uh, lucky for DeLand, they had three Bulldogs fall on it. And it's second and five for the Bulldogs. And there is an injured Bulldog, Brevard Sports Network policy. We do not show injuries. Do not want to bring any embarrassment to to you know the young man out, out of respect for the family's policy. We we just don't show injuries. All right, as they take a timeout here, while they take a timeout, let me talk to you about our one of our great partners in best private investigations best private investigations it would be fantastic if people were completely honest th and things like fraud deception impropriety didn't exist unfortunately this is the real world and not everyone plays nice or lives life above the board because of this it is sometimes necessary to seek outside investigative services when you need an outside service you can trust best private investigations give them a call at 321-508 4492 or visit them online at www.bestprivateinvestigations.com. I'd like to really thank Best Private Investigations. Also, if you're on your way over to the fields, I'd like to give a shout out to some of the SVYFL game day sponsors Dick Sporting Goods, Stacy Ann Zeller Real Estate. Buying or selling a home, give Stacy a call. Ice Cream Hut with three locations in Brevard. If you stop in at Ice Cream Hut with your jersey on today, you get a free cone with a purchase. WJ Construction, Direct TV, GMC Melbourne, Profi Prof Proforma Imaging, Uberzati, DSP, Mr. Delicious Pizza, your only Vieira Pizza go to. Flex Integrated Muscular Therapy, Scott Woodruff, Allstate Insurance. I think I know that guy. Mr. Scott Woodruff. And the food trucks, if you're coming out here, the food trucks that are going to be out here today, Gino's Italian Ice, Bill's Barbecue, and Joey's Hot Dogs and Ice Cream. 
Great food trucks out here. Great sponsors that help put this on. And here we go, the Deland Bulldogs. Second and five. And that, wow. Second and third efforts, driving. He is driving that pile. And that will move the chains. That'll be enough for a first down. Great job by the back who is unfortunately on the ground and slow to get up. All right, uh, Brevard, again, Brevard Sports Network policy. We do not show injuries. But um, what an effort by that young man. Number one, I thought he was stopped. I thought he was stopped, and he just dragged that pile and dragged and dragged. He should have only gotten one yard on the plate, and he dragged that whole pile another five. Needed five, picked up six. I mean, amazing strength by the young man. Absolutely just. Six fourteen left to go here in quarter number one. I would like to give another shout out to another one of our great sponsors here. Kendall Signs. Kendall Signs has provided a vast array of quality signage, branding, identity products to a wide variety of clientele more than 15 years. Although Kendall Signs is a Central Florida-based co sign company, their reach extends throughout the United States and beyond. The manufacturing of custom signs for individual businesses provides their products or continues within their fabrication plant on a daily basis. However, Kendall Signs provides their products and services on a larger and larger regional and national levels to retail management and provides their products and services on a large regional and national levels to retail, commercial, and industrial clients who require quality signs, superior project management, and customer service. Need a sign? Give them a call at 321-636-5116 or visit them online at www.kendallsigns.com. Thank you, Kendall Signs, for your partnership with the Brevard Sports Network. And we are back to action here. And number 16, trying to get to the outside, makes one stiff arm, and he turns the corner. Down the sideline, he's got himself a first down and more. Number 16, Brennan Haas. Well, uh, I, I think in the Haas family, there's some athleticism because uh, Baylor Haas in the 6U game scored three touchdowns for, six, for the 6U Bulldogs. And Brennan Haas here in the 8U game picks up a big first down there. The snap. Quarterback's going to take it himself, number 47. And that ball's out. There's a fumble. And recovered by Suntry Vieira. So that defense forces yet another turnover with 5.08 left to go here in quarter number one. Take over first and 10 on the 20-yard line. And the officials are going to call for a water break. While they do that, I'm going to take a water break and grab something for myself to drink. We're just going to mute the mics. Don't worry, nothing's happening to the feed. I'm just muting the mic so I can grab my drink. You are watching Pop Warner Football right here on the Brevard Sports Network.
All right, folks, here we are. 8U, DeLand, and Suntree Vieira. The Hawks and the Bulldogs going at it. The Hawks trying to capitalize here on a turnover. Easton directing his offense. And now he's going to give it to number 21. Number 21 makes a man miss but cannot evade the second defender. Marcelo Teeter on the carry. It'll be tackled for a big loss of about six or seven yards. It's now second and 17. And that is not the direction you want to be going if you are the Hawks. Easton Goff back in at quarterback now. And it will be taken, and I apologize, folks. Uh, so so with the tent there, uh, we, we, uh, we talked to the, we've talked to um, Mr. Ron Ramsey, and unfortunately, due to something within that organization, we cannot, uh, we, we cannot ask them to take down their tent. So, uh, Anything that happens here, unfortunately, is going to be blocked. I, I've already asked Ron about it, and unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. And, folks, I sincerely apologize. So, I mean, I, I, I there, there's two tents, and they are blocking my view. They're blocking the camera's view. And and off and Hawk apparently has running room again. Can't tell who it is. Brock Myers was on the carry for the Hawks. Picked up. It's uh, about fourth and 14 here for Century Vieira. And quarterback's looking, and he will be sacked. Number f that was number 15, Carter Aronsoft. Aronstoff. So, flag on the play. So, uh, they're going to get another shot. It was on to land. And Aronstoff. Will punt it. It was fourth and nine. And he touched it. That's a live football. Picked up by number 16. Brennan Haas. Brennan Haas with an amazing return. With a minute 25 left to go here in the first quarter, we are knotted up 0-0, zero, zero, as you can tell, right there on the Kendall Signs scoreboard. Brennan Haas. With about a 25-yard return. Gives the Bulldogs first and 10. At about the 27 yard line. Whistles blow this dead. Timeout for the Bulldogs here as they want to talk about their next move here.
But the way both defenses are playing, it's probably a good timeout here. Want to make sure we want it, we know what we want to do here. So yeah, you, you know it. it All right, folks, here we go. First and 10 with the Bulldogs taking over on offense. And that's number 20, number 20 coming near side. And it will be pushed out of bounds and that's as far as we can go, folks. Unless it goes to the opposite side. Unfortunately, those tents those tents are just blocking the way, and uh, again, we we uh, we've asked if they can be moved, and we were told no. Second and four for the Bulldogs as they are approaching the Kendall Signs red zone. And there's a toss and ball's on the ground. And Suntry Vieira has caused their second turnover tonight, or this morning. First and 10 for Suntry Vieira. The, uh, the toss was a bit wide for Brennan Haas. And he... he he just couldn't get a handle on it. Great job by the defense there to uh, to get the scramble. One minute left to go here in quarter number one, right here on the Brevard Sports Network. All right, let me wait and see who the quarterback is. We've had two or three different quarterbacks. And it's Goff. Goff back in and here. Blake Monark. Monark has open field. He's got one man to beat. And brought down by number 16. Blake Monark with a huge run. Flipping the field for Suntree Vieira inside Bulldog territory down to about the 30-yard line. Brennan Haas on the tackle. Brennan Haas's little brother, again, was a phenomenal athlete, phenomenal athlete down to the 6U game. But Blake Monarch. And that will be the final play of the first quarter. Your score, nothing, nothing, but Vieira has picked up momentum. Can they capitalize right here? We'll be back in a couple minutes with second quarter action. All right.
Here we go. We got second quarter action right here. And a fumble on the play. Possession goes back to the Bulldogs. <laughs> Brennan Haas returns punts, tackles well, causes that turnover. So uh, here we go. And uh, great night of high, high school football last night. Uh, well, interesting night. A lot of blowouts. And here we go. Why? Why are they playing so much music? All right, so here we go. Hand off to number 20. N number 20 for the Bulldogs breaking tackles down the sideline. He breaks free. Can he close down, down inside the 10-yard line? Mr. Santiago on the tackle, the touchdown saving tackle. Again, Bulldogs fans, I apologize. The, the organization only brought one roster, and it has to go to the PA guy, so I do not have the names. I'm trying to listen to the PA guy. But the, uh, the organization only brought one copy of the roster to give out. And all that run was for naught as there was a holding call. So, Bull, so uh, Bulldogs fans, I do apologize. I'm calling out numbers because, unfortunately, that's all I have to go off of. Again, the holding call. Negates a lot of that amazing run by that student athlete. There's Brennan Haas. I know that name. And ha Haas dragging defenders, finally being brought down. Might be just short of the first down. About three yards short is what is where they're marking him and there is a young man down on the field Brevard Sports Network policy we do not show injuries and unfortunately I, I think it I think it is Brennan Haas look that young man has done a lot in a short period of time he he had a punt return he had a punt return, I believe, of 25 yards. He's forced to fumble. His younger brother in the 6U game, Baylor Haas, scored all three of the Bulldogs' touchdowns in the 6U. Again, we like to uh, thank thank our partners who partner with us and help us. 
do what it is that we do, bring you these great broadcasts. I'd like to talk about Uberzadi. Uberzadi is a set of scientifically developed protocols that have been refined and perfected over the last 20 plus years to rapidly develop athletes beyond their normal capabilities to build sustainable speed, power, agility, and endurance. With optimal running form and efficiency that translates to peak performance and injury prevention in whatever sport the athlete competes. Uberzadi is for serious athletes ranging from middle school through high school, college, and the professional levels. Uberzadi is not for young children looking to have fun or more mature individuals looking to lose weight, get in shape, or do CrossFit. If you are one of these athletes, give Uberzadi a call at 321-412-5972 or visit them online at www.uberzadi.com. Again, thank you to Uberzadi. And here we are. The Bulldogs with possession. Number 47 hands off. And he will get maybe a yard. Making it third and two for DeLand. Number 47 hands off to number 30. Number 30. He had that big run before, and he's going to have another one right here down the sideline. And he is taken down by that defense. I do not see any penalty flags to negate this one. Number 30. Mr. Santiago. Gets the ball inside the Uber Zadi red zone. And can the Bulldogs capitalize on this great opportunity here? Toss it number 30. Number 30 coming near side. And still dragging defenders. One, two, three, four. Dragging five defenders, picking up at least three yards. Total, total of six yards on the carry. Great job by number 30. But it was all for naught. There was a fumble on the play recovered by the Hawks. <laughs> Both defenses have caused a combined three turnovers. Suntree Vieira has caused two, two fumbles. Actually, four total turnovers. Both defenses have created two fumbles. So points are going to come at a premium. It's going to be who can hang on to the football and who can capitalize on great opportunities. And Whistle's already blowing this one dead as there's going to be a timeout called by Sunshree Vieira. While we have another timeout, we'll talk, tell you about another one of our great, great partners. Connect, Connect Sports Funding and Consulting. Does your team or organization need funding? Let Connect Sports Funding do all the work. Check them out online at www.connectsportsconsulting.com. And Slow and Low Barbecue Grill. Slow and Low Barbecue Grill focuses on each customer's happiness and preferences. Their experienced chefs put a creative twist on every dish, always preparing crispy, appetizing, and delicious ribs, smoked pork, chicken, beef, and enormous turkey legs, almost like the ones you see at Disney World. Always expect impeccable service and one-of-a-kind barbecue. 
Stop by the loca their location in Vieira during, before, during, and even after on Friday nights for the Friday night postgame show. And here comes the Hawks here, first and 10 from about the eight yard line. Flag on the play. Great night. Holding on the Hawks, that, that'll back them up. Third and five for the Hawks. From the... About the four yard line. And cuts inside. Running back again. Marcelo Teeter. Breaking tackles left and right. And he's still down the sideline. Marcelo Teeter. He's got one man to beat. And he will take it from the four yard line. 96 yards, Marcelo Teeter. Wow. I, I, thought he w I thought he was tackled after a gain of simply five. He bro broke all those tackles down the sideline 96 yards. Check that, 95 yards. I was off by a yard. 95 yards, Marcelo Teeter. With 5.29 left to go here in quarter number two. The, the Hawks are the first to strike. Again, I apologize about those tents. We cannot move them. And they're not required to move them. So they're going to try to kick Easton Goff. Looking to kick for two. Kick is up and good. So with 5.29 left to go here in the second quarter, the Hawks jump out to an 8 to nothing lead. Marcelo Teeter, 95 yards. You want to talk about needing a, a burst of energy? There it was. So it'll be first and 10 from the 35 yard line now for the Deland Bulldogs as they look to want to look to respond here before the half. All right, folks, so so here's, here's the deal when it comes to halftime. If the cheerleaders come out and do their hello cheers, I will unplug all our equipment so you can hear their hello cheers and we will show them. If they do not, then it will be our normal halftime uh, mute the mic and come back in the third quarter. Whatever happens, we will have it right here on the Brevard Sports Network. So DeLand, first and 10 from the 35 yard line, looking to give the response and DeLand got away with one there. There was a lot of movement. 
Young man. Braden Haas. Check that. Tony Barvis was the ball carrier. I thought that was a 16. That's why I thought it was Haas, but. First first down and out. They can't kick. Pick the ball up. And that, that, that was almost disastrous for the Bulldogs there. Second and ten for Suntry Vieira, or for DeLand. Check that. In the gun. There's a snap. And number 17, or number 47 looking, and that, that ball's out. DeLand has jumped back on it, but lost significant yardage on the fumble. Blake Menark, the one there to cause the fumble. Fourth and a city block, the PA announcer says, and you know, it's not far off. And number 30 on the carry will be brought down after a short gain of maybe three yards on the play. And there's the handoff there, number 18. Looking to make something happen. Oh, check that 16, it's Brennan Haas. And Haas unfortunately couldn't do anything there. That defense. Defense of this, this Hawks team is very quick. And that'll be a turnover on downs. So Sun Vieira will take over first and 10. At the 44-yard line. So. Trying to trying to keep out the uh, the the music here. See if I can. All right, here we go. Don't want the the copyright. And there's Goff. Goff. <laughs> Goff. Goff just took it and said, uh, "I got this." He'll pick up a gain of about seven yards on the play. Second and three for the Hawks. On the 37 yard line. Goff. Gives up to Monarch. Monarch. Blake Monarch with a first down pickup for Suntry Vieira. Oh. 
104 left to go in the half. Hawks up eight to nothing. Timeout for Suntree Vieira. All right, folks. Look, uh, I understand there's a there's a scam link in our comment section. Do not click that link. That is not affiliated with us. That is just a scam. They all they want is your money. We do not charge in the comment section like that. Goff fires. It's caught, and that's a touchdown. No, nope. They're, they're, they're going to call him down. He stepped out of bounds. Stepped out at just about the six-yard line. Easton Goff with a beautiful strike. Couldn't see. I couldn't get the number there. Zeller was on the reception, great job. And he's gonna hand it off to Menark. Blake Menark will be just short, down at about the two yard line. But it will be all for naught, false start on the offense. So that'll back them up. Still right here inside the Uber Zadi red zone. Goff. Takes a snap and another flag. False start. And you, you, you can't do this when you're in the red zone. Still inside. About the 17 yard line. Goff rolls out. Throws, throws it incomplete just before, before he would have been sacked. Timeout by Suntry Vieira. Six seconds left to go here in the half. And here come the Hawks. It's now second down. Second and goal from the 
17 yard line. Goff in the gun, takes a snap, steps up, fires into the end zone, and it's intercepted. Oh, no, it's not. Nearly intercepted. I thought the young man was going to come down with the ball. I, I apologize. Great job on the pass breakup. Great coverage. Century Vieira taking another timeout with one second left. So this will be the final play of the drive pending a def defensive penalty. I think with that with that young man, he, he saw all the open green he had in front of him and blockers and Goff. From the 17, he's going to fire incomplete. And that will take us to half with your score. Suntry Vieira, 8. DeLand, nothing. We will be back. Listen, if the cheerleaders come out and do their hello cheers at the 50-yard line, we will unplug and allow you to listen. If they do not, then you will see nothing. And it looks, looks like the Suntry Vieira Hawks might come out and do their hello cheer. Let's see if All right, so I believe yes they are. All right. So quick shout out to the cheerleaders real quick. Brinley Akers, Kylie Albright, Sadie Almonte. Gianna Como, Madeline Calhoun, Vivian Fairchild, Vivian Huberty, Melody Lopez, Jasmine McFarlane, Bailey McKelvey, Macy McKelvey, Allison McKinsey, Callie Netter, as they get set. Adeline Schneider, Avery Selig, Chloe Schatz, and Kayla Soltez. Those are your cheerleaders for Sun Triviera Youth Hawks. All right, now I'm going to unplug and allow you guys to listen to the hello cheer. Give it up once again for those Bulldog cheerleaders. Great job there by the Bulldog cheerleaders.
Sierra Hawk cheerleaders. Alright, so coming back in about five minutes, we will have second half action. Give it up right once here again on the Brevard the Sports squad, Network. Sir, out here.
All right, folks, we are back. Third quarter action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. Folks, uh, all, all every game today will be put up on our YouTube page, so if you want to go on and hit that subscribe button, Brevard Sports Network, same as the Facebook page, Brevard Sports Network. All games will be uploaded tonight. I will make sure they are. I'd like to thank another one of our partners here. Connect Sports Funding and Consulting. Give you the read on them in just a little bit. They'll take care of all your fundraising needs. Why, why do all the hard work when you have a company like Connect Sports Funding and Consulting? They'll do all the hard work for you. All you got to do is just rake in that money. All right, so the Bulldogs will have first possession. Nope. The Hawks will. Marcelo Teeter. And he's having a reverse field. Breaks a tackle. Teeter is still dancing in the backfield. Finally brought down after a loss of... Looks like a loss of seven, but there is a flag on the play, so... We shall see. So face mask on the ball carrier. So that will move him back even farther. And let's just say second down and a trip around Disney World. Nine forty in counting. Left to go here in quarter number three. Yeah, that I mean that's officially It's like second and thirty. And he'll lose a couple more yards on that play. Riley Russo on the tackle there for the Bulldogs. And Goff. Hands it off to Teeter, and Teeter brought down. <laughs> All right, so, so now this isn't even just Disney World anymore. This is a trip around Disney World and hop, skip, and a jump over to Universal. I mean, by golly. We're talking at least 35, 40 yards. Fumble, and they're going to call him down. Fourth and yeah, that, 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 that's all we're going to call this, is just fourth and yeah. I mean, this is anything they can recuperate on this punt here. Try to help out the defense. Easton Goff. Number 16, Bre Brennan Haas down the sideline. And they're going to call it a touchdown. Brennan Haas 
Punt return, touchdown. Given a short field, short return, and great job, Brennan Haas. So, so every touchdown for Bren, for De, the Deland Bulldogs have been scored by a Haas. In the 6U, it was Baylor Haas who scored three touchdowns, and now Brennan Haas has scored the touchdown for Deland. Gives it number 30, number 30. Does not get in. But importantly, the dogs get on the scoreboard. It is now 8-6, to six, still in favor of Suntry Vieira. But the Bulldogs... So it'll be first and 10 from the 35 for Century Vieira as they look to respond to that score. That was about a 35 yard punt return for a touchdown by Brennan Haas. And for the Century Vieira touchdown, it was a 95-yard run by Marcelo Teeter. And we have 6.30 left to go here in quarter number three. And... Delay of game on the offense. And they're just con they're, 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 so far they are continuing the trend this half of moving backwards. Very unusual type of day for this offense. This offense is normally very efficient, high powered. Easton Goff. Might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. I'm not so sure. Second and about 17. Eight U game right here. Five and a half minutes left to go in the third quarter. Goff on the handoff to Menard. Menard cuts back. Slipping and sliding. And unfortunately, only picked up a couple of yards. And it's about third and 14. Blake Menark get, getting yards. Be third, fourth and 12 here. And 
timeout called by the Sun Tree Vieira Hawks. Connect Sports Consult Funding and Consulting. Does your team or organization need funding? Let Connect Sports Funding do all the work. Check them out online at www.connectsportsconsulting.com. You would like to thank them, and we'd like to thank our next sponsor, our next partner, Slow and Low Barbecue, home of the BSN Friday night post-game show. And Brennan Haas and the Hawks special teams. Blake Menard gets down there and makes the tackle. And we have an official's timeout for the water break. With 4.05 left to go here in quarter number three. I'm also going to take a water break. We'll be right back right here on the Brevard Sports Network. Hello, Space Coast. Alan Slaughterzinski for the Brevard Sports Network. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your support of BSN and allowing us to cover your student athletes and come into your home each and every night. Give us a follow on Facebook at Brevard Sports Network, and here's the many more years of top-notch sports coverage right here in Brevard County. Thanks again. Hey, this is Devon Dudley, and you are watching Bavard Sports Network. Oh, my brother, testify. Thank you to 24-time 24 tag, 24 tag team champion Devon Dudley for bringing us back. And there's a fumble on the play. Deland will jump back on it. Second and 12 for the DeLand Bulldogs. In the gun, they hand it off there to Mr. Haas, Brennan Haas. Or he's taken down. Blake Monarch was in on the tackle. Along with. Elijah Thompson. Also in there on the tackle for the Hawks. Third and five. For DeLand. And they're going to hand off to number one. Number one. Brought down after picking up maybe two yards on the play it will be fourth fourth and three and chase Goff, the head coach of this sun tree viera hawks eight u team we're gonna be here all day for 10 u 12 u and 14 Ten, sorry, 10U, 11U, 12U, and 14U. And wow, look at that defense there. Number 11, Jackson Genizo. On that play, he just shot at, was shot out of a cannon into the backfield. Hawks lead, 8-6. And the Hawks will, that'll be a turnover on downs. First and 10 from the 40-yard line. 
two minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Goff takes the ball from the gun. He's going to give it off to Teeter. Marcelo Teeter. Marcelo Teeter has reached over 100 yards for the game. Majority of it came from the 95-yard touchdown run. And he'll be just shy of the first down here, second and one. And there's the handoff and Teeter again finds room. Marcelo Teeter picks up the Suntree Vieira Hawk first down. And they are in Bulldog territory. And there was a block in the back, so that will negate the first down yardage run. And it's now second and seven. Fifty-three seconds left to go here in quarter number three. Goff with the handoff to Teeter. Teeter again going around that right side, cuts back. And it looks like he will pick up a Sun Vieira Hawks first down. As long as there's no penalties. And the refs are saying move those chains. It is a first down. Timeout called by DeLand as their defensive coordinator would love to have a word with his team. Again, to take a note to one of our, some of the sponsors that help Suntree Vieira Put on the production they do all day long. Dick Sporting Goods, Stacy Ann, Zeller Real Estate. Buying or selling a home? Give Stacy Ann a call. Ice Cream Hut with three locations in Brevard. Stop in at the Vieira location today after the after your game with your jersey on, and you get a free snow and you get a free cone with a purchase. WJ Construction, Direct TV, GMC Melbourne, Uberzati. DSP, Mr. Delicious Pizza, your only Vieira Pizza go-to. Flex Integrated Muscular Therapy, Scott Woodruff, Allstate Insurance. And the food trucks they have out here, they have Gino's Italian Ice, Bill's Barbecue, and Joey's Hot Dogs and Ice Cream. Oh, here we go. First and 10 from the 47. And Teeter is coming left side. And he stumbles in. Teeter has got a blocker. Trying to block two men. He gets past him. Past the tent. And Teeter will be brought down at about the 11-yard line. But there is a flag on the play. Which I think will negate that. And again, folks, I apologize for the tent. Uh, we were told uh, 
We were told DeLand cannot take down the tent. Uh, it is there for safety reasons. And uh, so anything that comes near side, that tent is going to block. And I do apologize. I feel bad for Mar Marcelo. I mean, yes, he has the 95-yard touchdown run. And that will be the final play of the third. All right, so that is the end of the third quarter with your score. Sun Tree Vieira, eight. Deland Bulldogs, six. We'll be right back with fourth quarter action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. All right, folks, here we go. Fourth quarter, again, let's thank uh, Slow and Low Barbecue. Like to give a shout out to another one of our sponsors, Kells Clean. Clean provides best quality cleaning services from janitorial tile grout cleaning, stripping, refinishing floors, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, roof soft washing at very reasonable prices. Give them a call at 321-505-7006 or check them out check them out online at www.kelclean.com and on Facebook under at @kelclean. That's Kel and Clean with a K. All right, so the Hawks here right in front of you. There's 10 Goff gives off to Teeter, and Teeter will be taken down. And it will be second and extremely long. It looks like second, second and about 16 or 17. In the second half, that's kind of been the theme for this uh, Hawks offense. Picking up first downs, penalties happen, and then... Direct snap to Goff. Goff taking it down the sideline. And he will get close to the Bulldog 40. He'll be short of a first down by about three yards, I believe. They'll officially mark it third and four for Sun Trivier. Great run there by Easton Goff. And here comes Teeter. Malachi Teeter picks up the first down, I think. 
going to depend on the spot. And the referees give it. First down, Suntry Vieira. About the 39-yard line for the Hawks. Goff going to hand it to Menark. Blake Menark co coming near side. And he'll get a gain of about four or five yards on the play. Eight to six right there on the Kel Clean scoreboard. Suntry Vieira on top. Goff is now going to take it on the direct snap himself going around that left side. He gets around. He's got a first down and more. And he'll be shoved out of bounds at about the 20 yard line. Easton Goff right there into the Kel Clean red zone. Check that. They're not inside the red zone. They're just outside. 23-yard line. Whistle. Stop play for a moment, then come back. And Blake Menark will be taken down in the backfield. He'll lose a hefty chunk of five or six yards on the play. So second and about 15 for the Hawks. They've... Here in the second half, they've had to play a lot from behind from behind the sticks, not not on schedule. They're gonna say he was down by contact. So going to be third and long here, third and about 13, 13 or 14. And there's the balls on the ground and recovered by Easton Goff. Five, just coming about just about five minutes left to go in the game. The Bulldogs down by two as it's eight to six. Big fourth down here for Suntree Vieira. Easton Goff. He's going to throw the football, and it's caught. Marcelo Teeter with the catch. It will be short, short of the first down, but...
Great pass and catch, but unfortunately short of a first down. And the Deland Bulldogs are going to get a chance. Four minutes and 38 seconds left to go here in quarter number four. And we're going to take the water break. So with the water break, let me give you a chance to tell you more about Kel Clean. Kel Clean provides the best quality cleaning service from janitorial tile, stripping and refinishing floors, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, roof soft washing at very reasonable prices. Serving most of Brevard County, family owned and operated, Kel Clean wants to make you a lifetime customer the first time. Give them a call for your free estimate today at 321-505-7006 or check them out online at www.kelclean.com and on Facebook under at KelClean. That's Kel and Clean with a K. We, we love all of our sponsors here on the Brevard Sports Network. That allow us to, to do what it is we love to do. We is give these kids the platform to shine and show off their talents. And to land here, there's Brendan Haas. Haas. Brings it all the way down to about the 49-yard line. And that'll be enough for a Bulldog first down. Four minutes and counting left to go here in the game. The Bulldogs looking to make a drive to put points on the board. Can this Hawk defense stop it? And there's number one now. Number one coming near side, right in your living room. Great tackle there by Easton Goff. Blake, Blake Tapella. Or Capella, excuse me. Blake Capella on the carry for the Bulldogs. Gets a gain of about five yards, making it second and two, but they are in Hawk territory. Wow, spins off the first tackle, cannot get away from that second tackle. Great job by the Hawks defense there. And the Bulldogs here, there's Brennan Haas. Haas trying to get outside. He does. He turns the corner. Gets the first down for Deland before being pushed out of bounds. All right, here we go, and first down at about now the 40. Now second down and seven. Two minutes left to go here. Brennan Haas. Haas is going to fire. And overthrows his receiver. He had a man wide open. I like the call there. Haas has been. Haas, no matter whether it's gone up the middle, 
or around that right side. He has been burning this defense. So you fake it, get everyone to bite in on the run. If that pass is a little more on target, uh, that receiver is uh, celebrating in the end zone right now. And there's a toss to Haas. Haas trying to make something happen, coming near side. Stiff arm down the sideline. Runs over a defender. Haas, who already has one touchdown today. With a minute 47 left, was shoved out of bounds. But a flag is also on the play. And I believe it's going to be of the holding variety. Oh, it was an unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. So, 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 so it, it was more of a taunting penalty, taunting, flexing after the run. And this Bulldogs, Bulldogs, uh, cheer side has exploded with life and another penalty one forty six left to go here in the game. First and 10 from the 44-yard line. There was a mix-up, and the Hawks capitalize on the sack. Number 19 with the sack. Martin Zeller. And he gives it to Haas. Haas now going, cuts it upfield. He's gonna reverse, he's gonna reverse field. He's got blockers. He's got space. He's gonna make it all the way to the end zone. Blocked by the tent. Touchdown. Brennan Haas. With a minute six left, gets the ball in the end zone. A 42 yard touchdown run. And now for the point after. Again, folks, I apologize. These tents are blocked, blocked him going into the end zone. And I, again, I, I apologize. There's nothing we can do. And extra point is no good, but the Bulldogs now take the lead 12 to eight with one minute and six seconds left to go. This has been a game all about big plays. Uh, to start off the scoring, Suntree Vieira on Marcelo, Marcellus Teeter's 95-yard run scored that touchdown. Then fir first drive of the second half, it, it's been a tale of two halves for this uh, Suntree Vieira offense because in the second half, their offense hadn't, hadn't been able to generate much, if anything. They would get a first down, but then there'd be a holding call. Or at one point, the Suntry Vieira offense had first and or second and forty. 
Meanwhile, the adjustments were made by the DeLand Bulldogs. And they now have the lead with a minute, six seconds left. 65 yards to go. Teeter brought down by a pack of Bulldogs. Teeter has that big play capability. And this sideline is rowdy. Goff in the gun. Hands off to Teeter. Teeter coming near side. Wrapped up there by number 22. As there's now 13 seconds left. Timeout called by Suntree Vieira. Easton Goff has, has shown the ability to throw. And so... Bulldogs here. Here come the Hawks, 13 seconds left. Third. And here comes Goff. Goff down the sideline, brought down in bounds. And timeout call, one second left. One second left. Wow, what a game this has been. Twelve to eight. So it's fourth and let's fourth and fifty eight. Goff gives it to Teeter. Teeter around the left side. Teeter down the sideline. And he'll be brought down, shoved out of bounds. And the DeLand Bulldogs pick up the victory over the Sun Tree Vieira Hawks in a fantastic game. Great effort today. Fantastic effort by all involved. Special shout out to Brennan Haas who scored both of DeLand's touchdowns. One on a 42-yard punt return and the other on a 43-yard handoff. Both scoring the touchdowns. Great job by both organizations. We will be back with 10U action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. See you in a little bit. 